Now, for people who operate this, they are those who believe God is in heaven. That's their revelation of God. They are those who believe God is in men. And they are those who believe God is in them. Depending on which of this revelation is dormant in your life, your work with God may suffer or may prosper. And the scripture upholds all of these three. I will show you very quickly. Matthew chapter 6 verse 9. Jesus was teaching them how to pray. And he said, after this manner, therefore pray ye, our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. So even Jesus had this revelation that God is in heaven. So if you want to really have a relationship with God, you must have a revelation of the God that is in heaven. And I will show you the impact of this revelation. When you find a man who walks in lack and who always walks in fear, it's because he doesn't know that his God is in heaven. So for example, when he's praying for supplies, he thinks that God is limited to his salary. When he's praying for prosperity or for power, for God to do something, he thinks God is limited to his ecosystem. It was on the strength of this revelation that Jesus said, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. So this revelation means God is not limited by anything in your surrounding. So when you find people who do great exploit, most times it's because they know that their God is in heaven. Paul said, My God shall supply all your needs according to his riches, not the riches of your government. The reason most people struggle to serve God is because they don't know God is in heaven. They think God is part of the government. They think God is part of the banking system. So when God tells them, sometimes God tells them, give 90% of your salary for five months. <laughs> they say, Father, we are in Nigeria, sir. I don't know if you, you know, <laughs> we are here. You no, know, it can't be God. This is the devil. And they will bind it. But if you know your God is in a realm of limitless supply, there is a consciousness it will bring into you. On the strength of that consciousness, there is an attraction that will come in your work with God. Now, God is not only in heaven. It doesn't stop there. You must also have the revelation that God is in men. Because all of these revelations have advantages and impact on your work with God. If you know that God is in men, you will know what to expect and what you can receive depending on who is talking. So when you know that God is operating in a particular man as a healing power, anytime that man is around, you know that healing is possible. And on the strength of that healing, God will become real to you. If you know that somebody has operated, God operates through him as one who prospers. Anytime that man is around, the consciousness of the God who prospers will become heavy on you. And so you will see that when different people are ministering, you will experience God at different levels. There are some people who are talking, fire, hunger for prayer, hunger for God's presence will be activated on your inside. Why? Because when they are talking, that consciousness of God is activated. And you can engage those people and live there and your work with God will increase. There are some people that when they are ministering, the consciousness of God, the healer, will become strong on you. And even when you leave that meeting, you will start seeking the God that heals. So their expression of God will stir much hunger and relationship for God in you. So you need to know that men carry God. And if you know that men carry God, when you meet those men, you will look away from them and collect or touch the God that they carry. I show you a scripture very quickly. Acts 11, verse 20 to 23. You see, the Bible spoke about... Now, this was before Barnabas came to Antioch. It says, some of them were men of Cyprus and Cyrene, which when they were come to Antioch, spake unto the Grecians, preaching the Lord Jesus. Go to the next verse. And the hand of the Lord was with them, and a great number believed and turned to the Lord. Are you seeing why these people believed? Are you seeing why these people turned to the Lord? They turned to the Lord because the hand of God was upon the people who brought God to them. So there are men that when they show up, they provoke intimacy in your own heart for God. So a great number of people turned to the Lord because some disciples from Cyprus and Cyrene came with God. A 
as they encounter those people because of those people they encountered god but that's not where intimacy stops you also need to know that god is in you because if you don't know that god is in you and you only know that god is in heaven and god is in men your journey with god will not be far you know why if you only think god is in, is in men and you only encounter god when you see men manifest god your experience of god will be tied to when you meet those men that's the limitation and there are many people who will never sense the glory of God until a worshiper is singing. And so when they come to church and somebody is singing under the anointing, they are weeping. They are experiencing God. The moment keyboard stops or the mic go off, their tears will dry up. And if they finish from that service until they come back next Sunday and the person is ministering. So their relationship with God is tied to when this person who carries God is ministering. Because of that level of twatted relationship, they cannot grow. Because they meet God Sunday to Sunday. Meanwhile, there are six other days in between the Sundays. So they encounter God when somebody ministers. On Monday, the devil approves everything they have touched. And they go back to iniquity before they come back the next Sunday. So their work with God is up and down. Up and down. You cannot find consistency. For those who think God is only in heaven, sometimes they now fill their work with God with rituals. Because you know what? Somewhere, unconsciously, they will feel that God is far away. That's why you see, most times, when we are praying, we want to do a lot of rituals. Because we think that we want to get the attention of this distant God. Those days, when I go to pray, sometimes I will close my eye and I will be looking whether a light has come or whether there is a sound somewhere. And the problem is that sometimes you hear a sound or you see a light after eight months. And when you now see something from the spirit realm, that for that two weeks, you, you are walking like a man of God. Anybody you meet, you tell them God is real. I was praying yesterday and light appeared on the wall. I saw light. The light was like the sun. After two weeks, you will go down. You will now start another ritual looking for the God that is far in heaven. And so even those people who believe or know that God is in heaven, they are limited. Their relationship with God is not consistent. That's why a man can go and off light and he's sinning. Because he thinks God is in heaven. <laughs> if he comes to church, it's like this. All of us are pious in church. When, when you talk to somebody in church, he will turn and say, bless you. Even when you offend him, he will contain himself and say it 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 is well because why now god is here but when he steps out of the church oh boy you waiting they happen how far now ah, okay yeah, yeah, yeah. no problem they come they come you even lower your voice to talk because you think he's in heaven he can't hear that's why your work with god is fluctuated because you think god is in heaven and you have the revelation that god is in man but you don't know god is here if you know god is here there's no way you can off light enough for god not to see you if you know God is here, there's no way you can talk under your voice and he will not hear. You now know that you are naked before him. And because of that, even when you are in the bathroom, you are conscious of God. As you are driving, you are conscious of God. Because this God is not only in heaven and you encounter him when you go to knee on your altar. Because the people who, who know that God is in heaven, they become conscious of, of God when they are in their prayer closet. And so the moment they enter their prayer closet, they want to ascend to heaven. So at that time, they become spiritual. They become conscious of God. And the moment they come out of their prayer closet, God has gone back to heaven. They are also going back to their business. So they are not strong. But when you know that yes, God is in heaven. Yes, God is in men. But God is also in you. You can have a powerful prayer service driving your car. You can have a powerful fellowship session while you are having your bath. In fact, some of the voice of God will come to you in the bathroom. Most times, as water pours on you, you will come alive. And God will start talking. You will run out of your bathroom and carry paper. And you are writing. If you can't, you will put your phone on record and you will be saying it. Because God is with you all the time. If you want to have a rich relationship with God, the first revelation you must have is that God is not only in heaven, God is not only in men, God is also in you. That's the foundation of intimacy. It's on this note that even when you sin, 
you know God is with you. And you can boldly come to him and say forgive. And it's on this note also that that consciousness to live holy and righteous will subdue your appetite. Because now you know there's nowhere you can hide from God. When you are chatting with somebody on the phone, nobody is hearing, but you know God is on your inside. He is thinking with you. So that thought you created, he heard it. Even before you uttered it, the moment you created that thought, he heard it. Now, when that consciousness inundates you, your work with God will become rich. Because the point will come, you will even pray in your heart. Because you know God is there and is hearing you. Because if you don't have the opportunity to pray loud, you know God is in your heart. So you can have a very strong prayer session in your heart. Very strong. And you are walking. Nobody knows what is happening. You know, people who think God is in hell. We are not this religion that put megaphone somewhere and you are shouting. Some people now can't even pray until they shout. That's why I tell my people here, follow the promptings of the Holy Ghost. Live activity. There are times when you are praying, God will man to you like a warrior. The prayer will be an act of war. And there are other times when God will suck you into himself. You can't even pray, you'll be crying. If you know that God is in you, when you are praying or interacting with God, you'll be more conscious of what is happening inside you than what is happening outside. And on the strength of that, your relationship with God will never fluctuate. It will be constant. Because even when you don't have the permission or the the opportunity to do it the way you would have loved to do it, you will do it all the same. Thank you for watching this video. We trust you have been tremendously blessed. To get more messages by Apostle Michael Oropo, kindly join our Telegram channel by following the link on your screen. Your life will never remain the same. God bless you.